Hi, this is roughly how the theory test works itself. So it sort of looks similar to the way that it is in this part here and move it up and down. You can see I could flag questions. I can uh, press next. I can end the test if I wanted, review unanswered questions. That's, this is similar to how the actual page will look on the actual theory test itself. So yeah, and I'm moving it up and down there as you can see. So yeah, this is roughly how it would actually look when doing your theory test. You can select the answers, which you see there in the thing, one or two questions answered, etc, etc. You can, so when you select it, it lights up at the uh, side. You can uh, do this throughout the test. You can flag a question and go back to it later on. Or if you've got any any unanswered questions, you can preview these uh, questions and answers, and you can take them a bit later on. As I say, uh, the test is about an hour long, two hours long, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but I'll put it in the description down below and you have to answer uh, 100 out of um, 100 so 85 out of 100 you got to get it correct to achieve a pass and the percentage for the theory test whereas the perception is slightly different to that it is similar to the, what you get for the car but the questions are more lorry or bus related whatever test you're actually doing so yeah but make certain you review your uh, your test before you or practice your test before you do it otherwise you could come unstuck when it comes to doing the test itself so please be aware that if you fail one part of this theory test you have to do the whole lot all over again so yeah, and here's the book that I was talking about a bit earlier. What um, I you know, was using when I was practicing for my HGV test, which I do intend on doing, so I haven't given up. So but I just thought I'd make this video as an update to one I made over two years ago nearly, talking about it more in depth. The other one's just me sitting on the computer answering the questions. This one's not about that. It's to show you what the actual test is kind of like when you do it, which you know, it looks like this, what's on the screen now, you see exactly the same as this, more or less, so please be aware. But there's 100 questions, not 50. I'm just using the direct.gov site to, as an example, so you can see exactly what it's like. And also if you end the test, it be like that, and if you did that in real life, you lose your deposit and fee. That's all I could say about this at this moment in time.